we are looking at volume and surface area of a frustrum. So let's look at, the, we have an example. You're having an example where you're told, calculate the volume and surface area of the given frustrum. The frustrum is given by twenty one centimeter, seven centimeter, and the vertical height here is fifteen centimeter. So we are supposed to look for the volume. So let's start with the volume of the frustrum. So to get the volume of a frustrum, we say it's the volume of the bigger cone minus volume of the smaller cone. So I have to come up with the bigger cone. So from here to here, we call it small h. From here to here, we call it capital H. So we start by getting the small h and capital H, because without that, we cannot get the volume. So therefore, what do we say? You take R over R is equal to H over H, meaning 7 over 21 is equal to H over 15 plus H, because from here to here is 15 plus small h. So that will give you uh, 7 into 15 plus H, is equal to 21 H. This and this one will give you 105 plus 7 H is equal to 21 H. Therefore, 105 is equal to 21 H minus 7 H, giving you 14 H is equal to 105. So having that, um, you divide that by you divide this one by 14, divide this by 14, our h becomes 7.5. So from here to here is 7.5 centimeter. So therefore, to calculate the volume is going to give you the volume of the bigger cone will be equal to a third pi r squared h. Remember, our h is equals to 15 plus 7.5, which is 22.5. So our h is equals to 22.5. So the volume of the bigger cone, the complete cone, will be equal to a third times 22 over 7 times 21 squared times 22.5. So that one will give you 22 times 21 squared times 22.5 divided by 21 will give you 10. 395. So that is volume of the bigger cone. Volume of the smaller cone will be equal to give you, will be able to give you a third pi r squared height. So it will be a third times 22 over 7 times radius, which is 7 squared, times height, which is 7.5. So again, 22, 22 times 7 squared time is 7.5, divided by 2, 1, it gives you 385. So therefore, our volume of the frustrum is equal to 10, 395 minus 385. So that is 10, 10, 395 minus 385. It will give you 10,000 and 10 centimeter cubic. So that is how you get the volume. So to get the volume of a frustrum, you have to get the volume of the bigger cone minus the volume of the smaller cone, and therefore that's how you get it. Then how do you get the surface area? To get the surface area, you, since it's a solid, if you're looking at a solid one, since it is a solid, what you're supposed to do Surface area of a frustrum is given by pi r squared plus pi r squared plus pi r l minus pi r l. That means 
you have to get the surface area of the curved, the lower curved surface, upper curved surface, which is given here, and the surface area of the curved surface. So you have the circular part, part and the circular part. The lower circular part, pi r squared, the upper circular part, pi r squared. Then you have the curved surface, which is equal to the whole curved surface minus the curved surface of the upper part. So that's why you are taking pi r l minus pi r l. So this will be equal to give you 1, 22 over 7 times 21 squared, 2, 22 over 7 times 7 squared. Then you have to look at 22 over 7 times 21 times L. But L we don't have. We don't have L. So since we don't have L, what do we do to get L? L is the slanting length, I mean the slanting height. So to get the slanting height, we come up with this. If the height is 22.5, and here we're having 21, then to get L is easier because you're going to get 22.5 squared plus 21 squared, then we find the square root. So our capital L is equal to 22.5 squared plus 21 squared. Find the square root, you get 30.8. Then our small l, the small l, to get our small l, again, this one, here we are having 7, and here you are having 7.5. So to get small l, you take 7 squared plus 7.5 squared, find the square root. So you're going to have 7 squared plus 7.5 squared. Find the square root, it gives you 10.3. So therefore, the curved surface of the whole thing, or the whole cone, will be equal to 22 over 7 times 21 times 30.8. Okay? So you take 22 times 21 times 30.8 divided by 7, which gives you 20, 32.8. The other one will be 22 over 7, the small one, the upper part, will be 22 over 7, multiply, 22 over 7, multiply by 7, then multiply by slanting height. The slanting height, it is 10.3. So again, 22 times 7, times 10.3, divided by 7, it gives you 2 to 6, Point six. So what do you do there? Then you take this one minus this one because you have said pi r l minus pi r l. So you get 20, 32.8 minus 2 to 6.6. .6. So 20, 32.8 minus the answer, you get 18, 0, 6.2. So the curved surface, this part, the curved surface, its surface area is 1806.2. So you have to add now the lower part, the circular part, and the upper circular part. So that is 22 times 21 squared divided by 7, which gives you 1386. Then you have 22 times 7 squared divided by 7 gives you 154. So now, the total, the total surface area, the total surface area will be equal to 1806.2 plus 154 plus 1386. So you add all that, 1386. So plus 1386, you add 1806. It gives you... 3, that 346.2 centimeters squared. So that is basically how you calculate the surface area. Remember, the surface area of a solid frustrum, it is equal to the lower, I'm at the, the lower surface area of the circular part, 
the upper circular part, you add this one and this one, then you get the surface, you know, the curved surface, where you have to get the curved surface of the whole cone minus the curved surface of the smaller cone. That's why you have pi r squared, pi r squared, and pi r l minus pi r l, where pi r l and this one means the curved surface. So that's how you calculate the surface area of a frustum.